Did you know that your body's energy, muscle strength, and mood levels are all controlled by a small butterfly-shaped organ called the thyroid gland? It's located on the front of the neck, right below the Adam's apple. When the thyroid gland isn't working properly, it can cause hormone-related problems throughout your whole body. Sometimes diseases of the thyroid can cause it to produce inadequate amounts of thyroid hormones. This is called hypothyroidism. And other diseases of the thyroid can cause it to produce too much hormone. And this is called hyperthyroidism. If you're noticing changes in weight or in bowel movements, feeling extra tired or emotional, and having trouble staying focused, it might be due to a thyroid problem. With about one in 10 Americans suffering from thyroid disease, odds are that you have it or know someone who does. Because symptoms can be subtle, many people go undiagnosed and don't understand why they feel so bad. In fact, patients over age 60 may have only one or two symptoms. Let's look at the most common thyroid disorders. Hashimoto's disease. This is the most common cause of hypothyroidism in which too little of the thyroid hormones are produced and bodily functions slow down. Symptoms may include fatigue, depression, weight gain, thinning hair, puffy face, and intolerance to cold. Graves' disease. This is the most common cause of hyperthyroidism in which too many of the thyroid hormones are generated and bodily functions speed up. Symptoms may include anxiety and irritability, weight loss, fatigue, increased or irregular heartbeat, excessive sweating, hand tremors, and frequent bowel movements. Goiter is a non-cancerous growth on the thyroid gland, and it's most often caused by a decreased amount of iodine in the body. Symptoms include a cough or wheezing, hoarseness, and difficulty swallowing or breathing. Thyroid nodules are solid or fluid-filled growths that appear on or in the thyroid gland. These nodules can cause swelling in the neck and lead to trouble breathing and swallowing if they get large enough. In some cases, nodules may produce thyroid hormones, which can mimic other thyroid disease symptoms. The good news about thyroid disease, though, is that there are very effective treatments to manage the condition, whether it is hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. That's why it's so important that you keep your regular screening visits with your physician. Your doctor will be particularly interested in whether you have a family history of thyroid disease because diseases of the thyroid often have a genetic component to them. If there is a concern, you can expect your doctor to order blood tests to examine the levels of thyroid hormone and other related hormones being produced by the body. Hyper and hypothyroidism cannot be cured, but they can be treated. If you have an underactive thyroid, you can expect to be taking thyroid hormone medication for the rest of your life. If you have an overactive hyperthyroid, you can also expect to be taking special medications. Sometimes surgery will be indicated when management with medication does not solve the problem.